Surprise! Should be a kill here, hopefully. Yeah, nice. Anubis all definitely going to get a kill. Uh, I could ult this Nasha, maybe? Just make sure he doesn't get the kill on the rat. Potentially get the kill on him as well. Oh, look at my damage. I'm shredding, man. I'm going to get another ult going here pretty soon. That's the kill. Come on, give me enough energy. Yeah, there we go. That's the double Arthur ult in one fight. you love to see it, honestly. Today, we become legends. All right, and we're back with another episode of taking a random god to every game mode with a random build. Last time I did Hercules, but you guys suggested in the comments that I should play an assault game first to kind of decide my random god instead of picking it so I can include assault in the rotation. So that's what we're going to be doing this time. So you guys know what I'm going to be playing right now. I currently don't because I have to queue up this assault game, but let's get right into it. All right, there we go. Queue pop. Arthur, okay, that's an interesting one. A god I can actually play, so it hopefully shouldn't go too badly. Uh, right, so let's get up the smiterandomizer.com website. Here we go. God select. Let's find my boy. There we go, King Arthur, and randomize. Oh my lord, it's Crit Arthur with Runeforged Hammer. Interesting. Uh, so the way the randomizer build website works is slightly outdated because it still kind of thinks you're using old starter items that you'll be selling and stuff like that. So it includes seventh items and things like that. So the seventh item, Wingblade, I'm just going to ignore entirely. And the starter item is going to replace the first item in the build for the entire video. So we're actually not going to be building Shadow Steel Shuriken here. It's going to be Bluestone Brooch into Deathbringer first item. Uh, breastplate of Determination, Genji's, and that means I can't even glyph the Deathbringer, that sucks. I've got to glyph the uh, Breastplate, because that's what it tells me to do. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Uh, and then in terms of actives, we have Teleport and uh, Entangling Wings, that's pretty interesting. Right, let's get this stuff off of my screen, and we will hop into this Assault game. Alright, here we are. So, we're starting off with Bluestone, which is going to go into Brooch, which is actually the best upgrade for Arthur, because the attack speed is not really that useful on him. Just a little bit of extra energy getting there. Uh, we would love to go something like Manacor Spikes, but we can't. we got to go straight into Deathbringer here. We'll get the Tier 2, right? Yeah, Tier 2 Deathbringer. My build looks probably incredibly terrible to my teammates here, but... It is what it is. And then we need Teleport as our first Relic, which is just... Oh, God. I'm going to have to Teleport in Assault. This is... I'm going to get BM'd in this game, I feel like. If I saw someone with this build, I would BM them. Although, at least we have a decent bit of physical defense here. We have the Hide of the Nemean Lion and the Breastplate of Determination. Should be pretty good against the four physical team. We jump partying? Okay, we jump partying. Nice. Milan's cheating now. She's got Mystical Mail in the jump party. Getting free damage. Oh, look at him go. Oh. Cerberus broke the jump party, it's time to kill him. Maybe I should have bought some potions, actually, thinking about it. I just bought, like, no potions. Oh, that was good, though. I stole that kill completely, but... See, at the moment, I'm, like, kind of just a regular Arthur with my blue stone. It, like, the build's gonna get just get progressively worse over time. Oh, fuck, I was gonna try and cripple him there. Oh, maybe a potentially good engage, though. Stun. <coughs> Snipe? Yeah, nice. I didn't even die to the tower as well. That's Pog. Even got a little bit of a meditation going from my backers. I would have loved to get meditation, but let's be real. There's almost no chance of actually getting that. Hey, come here, Chuck. I want that regen. Why are you running? He didn't wait for me. But yeah, there's basically no chance of getting meditation in an assault randomizer game. Unfortunately for my teammates. I see you there, Hercules. I know what you're trying to do. And I'm going to CC chain you for it. I've got my threes are kind of immune server assault, which is very nice. I'm just kind of counter it on demand. Oh, big, big Yu Huang damage, man. Big Yu Huang damage. Give me my one. Oh, my one wasn't quite off cooldown. Nice, good stuff. I'm going to stun. And then that. Nice. This one's going well. Going well. Oh, Chax just picked that up, right? Why are you running? So I'm get a little bit of regen. I wish he kind of, you know, let us group up for those, but... Maybe he's done. Get over here! Screw it, I just went in for a kill there. Like, I want to die and get my Deathbringer, that's worth. Like, I took Pele out with me. Right, here we go. Deathbringer. We can get tier 2 Breastplate as well. And I might get, like, a Chalice or something. Oh, I almost walked out of Fountain. We don't do that. We TP. We, we TP in these in these lands. Don't worry, team. I'm already back in the fight. Oh, you see that crit? Already putting in work with the Deathbringer. I want to go in on this, maybe. Oh, I have no cooldowns, actually. I thought my uh, orange stance cooldowns were up. I should have checked. Oh, nice. Stun. Yeah, good. I really want to kill that he's an army, dude, but I don't know if I can get in on it. Stun. Do the one. Oh, look how low she is, man. 
That's really unfortunate. Peli's level 7, dude. She's not having a fun time right now. It's big damage from Bacchus, but I can't follow up, unfortunately. I'm too low. Yeah, so we gotta go Breastplate of Determination with this, and then I can get Genji's. But to be fair, the Zerberus isn't doing, like, that much damage at the moment. I would rather go on my second physical defense, to be honest. Okay, we're engaging here, I think. Knock up. One. One again. Nice. Good stuff. The classic Hearthless shenanigans. Got my 4A ready if needed. Could maybe even charge up a 4B. I <laughs> have Bacchus immune it with the knock of immunity. It feels so sad as Cerberus when that happens with your ult. Maybe I could... Yeah, I think it should be a kill. With, with the crit auto attack cancel as well, though, with the Deathbringer. Uh, I'm dead for it, but that was a pretty epic kill, actually, use, utilizing the Deathbringer to its full effect. I don't necessarily have to glyph the Breastplate now, but I think I'm going to anyway, because I mainly need the physical defense, so I don't really need to get onto my Genji's guard, like, super quick or anything. Really unfortunate that I couldn't glyph my Deathbringer, actually, because Malicious Deathbringer would actually be really good on Arthur. He actually likes that cooldown reduction a lot. Oh, yeah, I've got my TP. My TP is going to be up basically every life, right? Like, it's Assault. I'm basically just going to... I'm going to live 200 seconds in Assault. Maybe sprint them in? I don't think I need to. We should just have this kill. Nice. Oh, I didn't mean to start tanking it. I'm not tanky enough to be doing that. We have three actual tanks on the team that aren't building Deathbringer. Nice. Very good engage there. I could stun, but I don't think I need to. Let's just take the tower. Maybe... Yeah, Chuck's going in. Stun. Nice. The Pridwin got the kill as well. You don't often see Pridwin, like, actually securing a kill like that. It'd be cool if you could maybe, like, make your Pridwin detonate manually by pressing your ult again. Because your ult will be on cooldown, so, like, pressing it again won't do anything. And you could just, like, manually detonate your Pridwin shield. It might make it a little bit OP. Because you could just, like, go in with a big burst ult and then immediately detonate Pridwin for, like, extra burst damage. But this, uh, is a pretty nice dance from Hercules, though. Oh, they're having a dance-off. They're having a dance-off. Oh, Sad. <laughs> I was interested to see who would win that. I'm on the way, team. Maybe I should have teleported, actually. It's kind of a power play to just, like, teleport in an assault, right? Like, they've got to be pretty scared when they see a guy, like, wasting a relic teleporting into him. I'm doing decent damage to this Hercules, man. Got the crits as well. I almost wish I had been able to build that Shadow Steel Shuriken. It'd be useful the anti-heal plus, like, more crit chance. Nice, dead. Another one here. Good stuff. Let's get the tower. Yeah, it's, towers are going to be rough for us. Like, we have a Yu Huang is probably at. They surrendered? Okay, I'll take that. To be honest, I thought we were in very much danger of losing that. We, we started, like, losing some fights, but... Yeah, GG. Crit Arthur OP, maybe? Yeah, GG, no re. Except, yes, re, because we're going to go to the next game mode right now, which is going to be... We'll just go upwards, I think, since I started at the bottom. Uh, omnipotence. We technically could. Oh, no, we can't. Arthur's banned from Omnipotence. So, actually, I can't, I can't do this one for the video. So, we'll just go directly up the game mode list. We'll do Joust next, then Slash, then Arena, and finish it up with Conquest. Uh, we won't make this Joust queue because we have to do a randomized build. So, let's get this back up. Da -da -da. There we go. And we'll re-randomize. Okay. That's better than the last one. I'll say that's better than the last one. I mean, I have Compassion, but I suppose in Joust, that's kind of all right. Like, if I'm going the tank, Compassion will actually kind of be okay in Joust, get that extra gold. Uh, the Atalanta's bow is being replaced by Compassion, so again, not too bad. Uh, and then we have Heartseeker, which is Arthur's best damage item, arguably. And then, like, some decent defense. Like, I mean, I'm a little li I'm a little low on uh, magical defense. The mage is going to kind of ruin me. And I have Persistent Teleport again in a game mode where I do not need it. But uh, overall, not actually that bad of a build. This is definitely significantly better than the previous one. So uh, let's just jump right into that Joust game. We'll switch up the skin as well. We did Green Knight for the Assault. We'll do uh, a bit of Deathbringer this time. Najar, new Ascardi. So I assume they're going like a tanky Najar there. Maybe a Lornos Mask build potentially. He is Grandmaster's Joust or Duel. I can't remember which one that is. I think it might be Duel. Okay, starter item is Compassion. We've gotten pretty lucky on the starter item so far. Bluestone and Assault was good. Compassion's good in, the, in Joust because I'm going to be the tank, so... Uh, and then we go straight into... Da -da -da. Not Transcendence, but Heartseeker. Oh, I can maybe gank him here. Get some free damage. Zone him off. Oh, nice. This should be a kill, hopefully. No! I got, like, pulled back on that Scaddy Ice so far, dude. I hate Scaddy. Nice. This should hopefully be a kill. Yeah, good stuff, Anubis. I'll get it. Are we gonna... We're gonna kill this. I can't tank it too much longer. I'm not gonna lie. Right, that's that's all I can do. Because, yeah, I'm literally gonna die here. Nah, I'm dead. On fault. 
I don't know what my team was doing there, just like not killing the red buff. It's not that hard to just kill it. You know what? We'll TP. Why not? Show dominance. To be fair, once I get my Heartseeker online, I probably actually do like some pretty solid damage. That item has a lot of power. And the passive, even with like not a lot of power in your build, because it scales up obviously with more power, still pretty good. Oh, she went that way. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Oh, Rat's going in. Maybe he's got it? Yeah, nice. God, they have the most annoying team, dude. New Eye just constantly summoning shit. Scaddy just constantly putting a wolf on you. Right, I'm gonna back here. I've got full Heartseeker. Surprise. Should be a kill here, hopefully. Yeah, nice. Anubis will definitely gonna get a kill. Uh, I could ult this Nasha, maybe? Just make sure he doesn't get the kill on the rat. Potentially get the kill on him as well. Oh, look at my damage. I'm shredding, man. I'm gonna get another ult going here pretty soon. That's the kill. Come on, give me enough energy. Yeah, there we go. That's the double Arthur ult in one fight. You love to see it, honestly. Aegis, but that should still be a kill. Yeah, good stuff. I'm pretty fed at this point. Level 9. Most of their team's level 7. Oh my god, my damage, man. That's supposed to be their tank, and I'm just shredding him. Heartseeker Arthur, kind of OP, man. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it is his best damage item. Like, he just has, like, 8 abilities, basically. <laughs> So why not? Why not go Heartseeker? Like, this build has been quite generous to me, to be honest. This build is actually, like, not that bad. If you put the Heartseeker at the end of the build and got the defense first, like, you would kind of look like a bad Arthur player, but not actually trolling, which is what a lot of these builds actually do. So, big damage, big damage, dead. Jesus Christ, dude. I just did, like, 60% of the health with both my ones. Oh, Rat's going in. I've got my 4A, potentially. For a long-range stun here. Oh, but not my, uh, I'm in combo stance. I can't do my one. Not a lot of energy right now, but I've got enough that I could easily get, um, a 4A, potentially. Oh, big knockups. Oh, I tried to spin to win, but we got Nigel ulted there. At least it means my team aren't getting Nigel ulted, I suppose. Oh, wait, Nuwa's over there. Okay, she's very dead then. Oh, Rat's going in. We are also going in then. Uh, we do this, we do this, we do this, and we do this. Oh, yeah, that's that's what I planned, of course. We, we, we do all those nice things, and then we just miss the Arthur ult, because I'm I'm a definitely an Arthur main right here, guys. I, I know how to hit my abilities, I promise. New Az back. I could potentially kill her, to be honest, if she actually wants to fight me, but I doubt she does. Also a second relic, which is Emblem. I, I actually kind of like Emblem. I think Emblem's a little bit underrated as a relic. Really good for the slow potential. Especially on gods that don't have dashes like these two. Like, unless New Ar ults it or they beads it. They're going to be hit, hit with that slow for quite a long time. I really wish I had Blink, though. I could be getting so many more kills if I had Blink in this match. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, good stuff, Anubis. Good stuff. Really? <laughs> I was going to say, Scotty, you're just sending your wolf into death at that point. It's basically Lady from Game of Thrones. Just like, send, send it at the king. Nah, not going to happen. Oh, another surrender. Okay. We're just dominating with these random Arthur builds right now completely. Got basically three items in both games. Unlike the Assault one, though, I think we were going to win that one regardless. Like, we were just kind of dominating there. We we're going to snowball it to a win. The Assault one, I think the enemy team actually had some potential to turn it around there. They were actually, like, winning a few fights. But yeah, GG's. Good stuff. Uh, let's move on to the next game mode. I think it's Slash up next, right? Yeah, Slash is going to be next. Maybe we can just do a clean sweep here and get first win of the day in all these game modes. That'd be pretty sick for the video. But uh, let's pull up the website once more and get a new build. This feels a lot like hell. Okay, Sledge, Runeforge. Well, we won't be building the Sledge, I suppose. Um, ferocious Executioner is not good. We don't have the attack speed to make any use of that. Uh, heavy Executioner might have been potentially good there, but... Uh, we got Bulwark, Runic. So very heavy on the mag defense, and then Transcendence last item. Phantom Shell and Belt of Insatiable Hunger is not the worst, I suppose. This is not looking great, I have to say. Uh, let's hop into that Slash game. That's a lot of stars on Aphrodite, Jesus Christ. I mean, at least she's on my team, I suppose. Went for a different skin again this time. I'm gonna try and do one for uh, each game mode here. I think I own five different Arthur skins, so hopefully. Right, so first up, we have Compassion again. Not too bad, because uh, you can just kind of make that work in, um, in Slash. And then we're going straight into Runeforge Hammer first item. Which again, it works okay on Arthur, like he has a slow. So many people are using these new uh, house skins. I've seen Yuhang with it twice, my Aokwang has his as well. They're quite nice skins to be fair, I do like that. And <laughs> you got stunned into the red buff, you didn't even want it necessarily. I'm going go for this blue buff here, I typically spam a lot on Arthur. I mean, what well, Arthur doesn't spam a lot, right? There's a reason they call it spam a lot and not cam a lot, right? So, 
Oh, Anubis though. Anubis hella out of position and out of mana as well. Me and Gilga should be able to get this. Oh, they have shell. Double shell, okay. Why am I kissing him? He's full health. I have no fucking health. I actually died anyway. I'm gonna go over to left. There's been so much action in right. I just wanna get a little bit of farm at the moment. Oh, and then everyone comes over to left. Like, is everyone just trying to hunt me down or something? Nice. Should be dead. Yeah, defo. Uh, maybe going on this guy as well. Yeah, nice. What? That was such a weird interaction. Holy shit. <laughs> he just, like, stole him out of my ult. I guess Aquang ult takes priority in that case. If he's already, like, locked on for the execute. It makes sense, I suppose. Aquangle probably should take priority. Very good fight. We needed that. We're actually, like, kind of losing a lot of those early game fights. Oh, hello, Anubis. You are vastly overextended there, my guy. Stun him under tower, maybe. Yeah, nice. Gilga should have it. Hopefully. I'll take it. I should have level 11, dude. He's kind of fed. Cupid's under a lot of pressure over here. Let's rotate to the left. Don't really have much going on right now in terms of, like, ult or anything. Okay, that's Anubis all down. Luckily, I have, like, tons of mobility to kind of stop him doing much with it. Cern ult as well, plus Yu Huang, Jesus man, and Herc. That's like all their ults. <laughs> I'm just too low to make anything happen here though, unfortunately, and she's healing the Gilgamesh instead of me. Hello, the Gilgamesh is full health, link to me please. How can you have like 15 million stars on Afro and not realize that you're linked to someone that's full health? Maybe she's partied with the Gilga or something. Oh, good stun. Let's go, good fight, good fight. That should be a kill as well, yeah, good. That was really clean, actually. This Cernanos is really not happy with our towers, man. This is all down. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I missed that? No way. Okay, I think I'm dead. Yeah. Jesus, that Nashar is absolutely destroying, but I can't build any physical defense against him because I don't have any in my build. <laughs> Get him to dash. Dash? Yeah, there we go. Chase him down with this. Bit of this, bit of this, bit of this. And a bit of that. Yeah, nice. Just got enough energy to be able to do my foray there. I want to go to kill otherwise. Surrender? Nah. I've got a feeling this one's careening towards a loss with how fed that Najar is and the fact that I can't deal with him, but I think it's winnable. We're 10 and 10, only down like a K and a half or something. Yeah, again, I'm not too crazy about like just fighting this Naja. The Anubis though, I hopefully shouldn't take too much from him. Oh my god, the Naja, does he have crit or something? I just got absolutely blown up by him, man. I'm definitely dead here. I'm not even going to use my shell, like I'm just dead though. Anubis ulted it for some reason. Armillary Sash 946. Yeah, I bet Armillary Sash crit me, man. I bet that was what it was. He probably like popped his two and then Armillary Sash got a crit. Oh, and Afro's left. I, was that the person that put up the surrender vote? Yeah, cool. Eight stars Afro. Throws up a surrender vote in an even game and then leaves when it doesn't pass. Like, is that just not the most classic smite thing you've ever seen? Probably looking like a loss from this one then if the Afro's like not coming back, which I assume she's not. That looked like a rage quit to me. She's one and two though. Also like meditation Afro. This is just like the classic uh, smite gameplay right now, right? I don't think I can defend this tower on my own. I'm not going to lie. Especially with Najar lurking around. I got my shell off before he ulted me. I might, might live. Yeah, just about. Alright, but now, boys, we can definitely carry this game because I have my Ferocious Executioner now. That's all we needed. Now I can start carrying. 4v5, no problem. I have Arthur with Ferocious Executioner. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I thought he was going to ult me, to be honest. I'm probably still dead. Yeah, there we go. That's the ult. Oh, that one looks cool, though. I do like the old like, animation and that. Oh, wow. You won't all waiting for me on the way down as well. Alright, we got Runic Shield next. More magical defense to deal with this incredibly fed Nasha, let's say it now. Gilga's also potentially AFK by the looks of it, just gazing out onto the temple. Oh no, okay, he was just spying items, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'll vote that now. There's there's no point in continuing this one, really. Yeah, there we go. GG, I suppose. That one was actually, like, going decent until the Afro decided she was just, like, out of there. Even though she was only, like, 1 and 2, that game wasn't going that badly at all. But yeah, what can you expect from someone that has, like, 15 stars on Afro? It's just, like, it's, it's how it works. That's just, like, smite rules, smite law at this point. Yeah, we'll hit her with a report and then move on. Next game mode will be Arena, right? Yeah, so we have Arena, and then we got the true test of the random build, which is Conquest. Which, hopefully, we're gonna get, like, a half-decent build for Conquest. If I get, like, 
benevolence or like something that's going to force me into jungle. It's just going to be painful. But we've got the arena for now. We've got the Bliss of Arena with a random build until we have to go suffer the pain of conquest with a random build. Let's queue up and then uh, hit up with another randomized build. Oh, God. Devos, Bauble without enough cooldown to even make Bauble work. Animosity as my starter item. Thank God we got this one in Arena. This is like the worst build of the day, I think. Not only do we have Devos, we have Devos in fifth slot. Oh, God. This is awful. At least we have a little bit of balanced defense. Like, I have some physical defense. Uh, more magical. But the Mail of Renewal, I can't even build, unfortunately, because that's going to be replaced by Animosity. And then we have Meditation and Emblem. Not terrible, I suppose. Right. So... We have Animosity right now, which is obviously not very good on King Arthur, but to be honest, it's Arena. I probably won't get to play with Animosity for like that long. It'll probably be like near the end of the game when I actually upgrade to it. Uh, Berserker Shield, again, attack speed, not ideal, but I guess the stats on it are like kind of okay for Arthur. Uh, and then we got to go immediately into Sphinx's Bauble with like a 20% CDR build. This is just going to be going to be pain. Is he trying to invade? No, thank you. Good sir. You, you, you will get off of our buffs. Oh, no. I have no movement left. Meditation saved me. Okay, that worked. It looks like Fen might be getting a kill on the back line, though. Yeah, nice. Oh, Fen going in. Oh, I just ran straight into that cuckoo ult right now. No, don't, don't, don't hit me with a chain. Don't hit me with a chain. Fuck. I had to ult. <laughs> I was hoping she wouldn't uh, do that because now I've had to waste my ult, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I'm back in, though. This Fen's doing so much work. Holy shit. Potentially even continue here. Stun. One of these. One of those. Oh, I missed my three. Nice shot, Dana. Nice shot. All right, let's go back and get full Zerk Shield. And then witness the pain of going Sphinx's Baubles when I have no CDI in my build at the time and only have 10% more. Like, I feel like Sphinx's Baubles might actually be okay on Arthur if you actually had the amount of cooldown in your build required for it, but I don't, so. That should be a kill. Nice. This Cuckoo doesn't really seem to know what he's doing. So I'm not going to farm him too hard. Don't worry, I got meditation for you, Neja. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Okay, I have no CC immunity right now. I would like to not get hit by that. Fuck. Not good. It's fine. They were too late on the Kuku. Oh, Daji went in. She has no ult. Oh, no. I'm a little bit out of position right now, though. I have no mag defense at the moment. Oh, she saw me. Okay. We're going to ult this, though. Hopefully, Thana's ready with a scythe. I dash straight into Cuckoo 3. Okay, we at least, we at least got the kill on the dash, either. Oh, my auto attack pulled me off of being able to grab the blue buff, and he stole it from me, dude. That is just ultimate sadness right there. Can I just, like, not finish this Sphinx's baubles? It would literally probably be better if I never finished it, but we're going to have to. That's, that's what the random build dictates. Nice. That's going to pull him into spawn. Stun. Good. All right, next up we have Fabless Tubes. Apparently it's just the earring build and then Devos, because Devos Arthur obviously makes so much sense. I'm kind of shredding this Dagi right now, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, nice, good kill. Pop the meditation, hopefully not die. I could stun him, but I want to use my 4B really. Is the Cthulhu not dead? Okay, nice. I was like, how is he not gonna die there? Yeah, the, the Fabless tubes that I'm going as well, I have no use for that. I have no way to, like, actually heal my allies. So this build is just horrendous, really. There's so many things wrong with it for an Arthur. Should be a kill. Oh, beads. Still a kill. Nice. Don't really know why she beads that. She may as well have just eaten it at that point. You're not going to kill me, Cthulhu. I'm not tanky, but I'm not, like, that squishy that you can just kill me like that. Especially when I'm going to get my full Fabless tubes. To be fair, the stats on a lot of these earrings are just broken. Like, 60 prots, 350 health, 10% cooldown is just really good regardless. Like, I would buy this even without the passive doing anything for me. So, I'm not really going to complain too much about having these in my build. It's just really good stats. Kill Dashi. Devil's another practically useless item for me. It's just a bit of power. Like, the lifesteal is almost irrelevant because it's not ability lifesteal and my auto attacks, like, I mainly use them for mobility and, like, a little bit of extra damage. I'm not going to be lifestealing very much from them. Nice. I was trying to set up that Thano. I heard him ulting. Okay, dash ult down. Is she going to go on me? No. Ow. That kind of hurt. I'm not going to lie. 
Daji, you wanna you want round two? I'll 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 do you for round two. Oh look at her health bar, man, that's so sad. Oh I should have just uh four beat it, I think. I'm gonna try and pick up blue as much as possible to get my cooldown reduction up. But I think even with blue and a power pot, I'm still only at 40% with this build. So my Sphinx's baubles are basically never going to get used. I've kind of just come to terms with that. But we may as well get stacking my devos, right? Oh, he jumped in. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's going to get the kill, but he's definitely dead. Yeah, nice. I need these stacks. If for nothing else for the power, like I believe devo still has like 70, 80 power when fully stacked, regardless of the lifesteal. So. Oh, get on this guy. Yeah, this should be a kill. Stun. Nice. I am probably dead for it, though. That's a lot of people here. Oh my god, I'm instantly respawned. Arena's crazy, man. But he's dead. He may never die. Can be straight back in the action. Try and kill this Uyi, maybe. I love that Arthur 2B into 1A. It just sets it up so well, because you always transition back out of combo stance after doing the 2B, and you're ready with the 1A. Oh, give me these stacks. Give me these juicy stacks. Nice. 18 Devo stacks, boys. We're carrying this game. Oh, is she going to get the penta? Sol says go for the penta, so. Stun there. Nice. I was going to say, if she kills the if she kills the fan, I'll give her the penta. But she, if you don't get the quadra, you don't deserve the penta from me. That's all I'm saying. Oh, hello, ye. Hello, dead ye. Nice. How did Morgan get that? What? Does she have, like, some tick damage remaining on him or something? Oh, nice blink dash owl, dude. Good stuff. We are bodying right now. I mean, we're not bodying the game in general, but these recent fights have been winning pretty hard. Stun. Knock up. Dead. Nice. We try hiding now, boys. We try hiding now. We gotta win this arena game. That's all that matters. I gotta get revenge for that terrible slash game. Jeez! Okay. <laughs> I have no fizz defense, man. That dodgy just absolutely bursted me right there. Stun. I don't have any more cooldowns to get to him. Team. Nice. Good stuff. I don't think we can win this one. We're like 60 tickets down, but we can try. Oh, God. I don't have any beads. Oh, my ult for this. This is gonna be pain. No. Why are you bullying me? Okay, I died. Dashi's absolutely destroying this game. Yeah, she's 20 and 5. Jesus Christ. She's been farming. You fucking bitch. Why are you bullying me? GG's to the Dashi, honestly. Well deserved. I think I'd have stood a better chance if, uh... I'll, I'll fight her. Like, I'm always one to fight the person that's going for the Penta. Like, I'm not going to necessarily give you the Penta for free unless I think you really deserve it and it was a nice play. But I'll fight you. I hear people that just, like, run away and, like, don't fight them because they're almost on a panel. Alright, so here we are in our last game. At least we got Blue Storm for uh, Sol and Arthur. That will hopefully make the early game a little bit more manageable until we get into the more ridiculousness of this build with, like, Golden Blade and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to Magi's first, which isn't ideal, but at least it has some health, you know. Will protect me a little bit. Going to be laning against a Milan, so probably going to get a little bit out pressured here. Especially because I'm having to go this uh, stupid build, but it should work out. Uh, I'll grab three health pots. Can't get TP. My first relic has to be Emblem. But I suppose that's decent against Milan. She doesn't have mobility early on, uh, so could potentially slow her and get an early kill, something like that. Uh, going to win the early clear here. Looks like pretty good. Should hopefully hit level two fairly soon. And then potentially could go for her. If we hit like that, get level two off this guy. Okay, she just hit two as well, but that's on thought. Didn't quite out clear her enough. Oh, we're getting a gang from them. Yeah, I'm down for that. Help me! Slower with the curse. Help me! The curse actually came in clutch there, holy shit. We might not have had that kill without it. She like literally couldn't move with uh, Nemesis 2 slow and the curse slow stacked on him. In a recent video I mentioned about Soul and cringe, cringe ganks at level 2 from junglers when they're doing the red star. Exact same thing just happened there. I do feel a little bad for the Milan because I hate when that happens to me, but... Oh, you should not be, like, just fighting into my wave here. You're going to take so much poke there. She just teleported back in as well, so... That's such a weird bug with Arthur's auto attacks that way, like, jumps you backwards. Yeah, she's so poked out, and I have, like, a big stack of archers here going in. She really can't contest this. So you have to, like, lose all the farm here. She has Chalice, so she'll probably heal back up, but... Okay, that's fine. Let's get a little bit of poke on her for it. She's just trying to level up to three. 
So all you should be doing is Milano again. She's going for blue. I doubt she's going to solo that, so I assume her jungle is around. Mine's in mid, so I'm not going to play, like, too aggressive here. Could go for my own blue, potentially. I might grab Totem before I do, though. Totem's more of a neutral objective, and hopefully my Nem will come over for my blue. All right, there we go. We'll head for blue. Should hit me level 5 off of my blue, and I can get back in with uh, the Magi's for a bit of health. I guess Magi's is a little bit useful against the Milan, because uh, her 3 slash her ult just won't hit me. Uh, I'm going to have to actually get this one more wave. I don't want to lose that whole wave to tower. Nem's maybe trying to gank? I mean, I could. My ult's ready. Yeah, she's just going to ult out, though, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to be able to get the kill. She's last farming? Okay, she's gone for a blue, it looks like. I'm going to try and get a little bit of pressure on this wave, get it cleared, and then back without, like... The pressure of her forcing it into my tower. Double kill in the duel then. Very good. Right, so we got Magi's and then Golden Blade next. I don't even know if Golden Blade even works. Don't know where she's at. Oh, there, okay, there she is. I was going to say, she's been out of lane for quite a while. I want to, like, potentially try and fight early because... Why are you running? Nah, I can't, I can't die that. Like, I have no Fizz defense. The tower's just going to shred me. And she last bounds again. Yeah, as I said, I kind of want to fight early in this lane because later on she's just going to have the defense and is going to outtrade me like enormously and there's not much I can do about that. Kind of want to get like my one and then my ult like this. That could kill. Okay, we traded. That's fine. <laughs> I'm kind of fine with trades in this lane. Just like that's all, that's all I can do really with this absolutely god awful build. Solo, like, builds are super important early game. Like, if I have no defense, I'm just going to get all mega outtraded. I think my time for killing in this lane is, is pretty much evaporating at this point. Once she gets full soul eater, she's going to really out-sustain me. And then uh, once she gets defense online, she'll outtrade me as well. It's, it's going to be rough. But hopefully by that point, we'll be, like, fairly out of the laning phase. And I can maybe start trying to rotate. Also, team are winning, which is very helpful. If team were losing and I'm also losing because this build is horrible, like, that would just be rough. I'm not losing lane at the moment, but I know I'm going to be losing lane in, like, the next five minutes once she gets, like, a build online. It's just how it works in solo. I could maybe... Nah, I was going to say I'll try and rotate, but I don't want to fall too far behind in this lane, because if I get behind, I'm really going to, like, struggle. Look at that, she's just back at full health. There's nothing I can do against a meta solo build with this. Best I can hope for is just to try and survive this lane at this point. I wonder if she's checked out my build. She probably hasn't. If she saw my build, she probably would not be last spamming, because... You shouldn't last spam an Arthur that's going this build, dude. It's painful. I think once I get to team fights, it might be like a little bit more alright, because the build doesn't matter quite as much in team fights as it does in like the laning phase of solo. Like laning phase of solo and maybe laning phase of duo is why builds matter like so much. Duo is in, I mean like ADC. Like it, it just is so huge, especially in solo. Like if you're not building right in solo, you're gonna get absolutely destroyed by someone that is building right. It kind of sucks, but like it's a very min-maxy, like optimized kind of role, and if you're not like playing and building optimally, it, it can be a bit rough. Not gonna bother fighting her. Like, she's just gonna heal it all up with Soul Eater and I have no way to sustain it, so. I might try and rotate here, actually. I've got a little bit of pressure on the wave and I wanna try and do something for the team rather than just sitting here, like, festering in lane against a Milan that's just gonna outtrade me 24-7. Yeah, Milan's following me. Just gonna swap my beads onto uh, F. That's normally how I like to roll. Hi, Okwang. I'll, I'll fight you. Sure. Damn. No one else is here, really. I got some big damage on the Alquang, but I don't think it's going to be enough for, like, someone to clean up the kill. Nemesis is rotating over now. It's a little bit late, but maybe we could, like, get something done here. Oh, that's on fault. You got Alquang ulted. You got to be careful when you're low like that against Alquang. We've got Nemesis in the back line kind of cleaning up, though. Nice, we're going to get the Alquang too. This is a good fight. This is a good fight. We just got to, like, not let Milan clean everyone up because she's quite fed at this point. Yeah, she's just going to clean up. Like, I can't really stop her. Ah, stop it. At least I can use my beads there. Why are you nah, bullying she's me? Not at all. Oh, I came back off cooldown. I didn't expect her to have her ult there. Okay, yeah, they're just diving under tier 2. Jingwei's back, but I'm not sure it's going to make too much of a difference. There's only so much uh, one Jingwei can do, unfortunately. Alkong split pushing my tower. I've got Witchblade up next, which I guess is actually kind of useful in this in this matchup. Does well against Darkwang and against Charybdis. If you could kill Milan, that'd be pretty huge. Because she's just getting really fed at this point. Gold? I mean, we could. Gold's, like, very risky, though. Nice. 
Nice. Should be a kill. Hopefully. Never mind, that movement speed is insane. Oh, and they're all in the back line. Yeah. This one might just be over, dude. Everyone's kind of losing now. It's not just me. Maybe I can kill this guy. Yeah, okay, we got one kill, but I'm not sure it's really going to make too much of a difference. Oh, nice steal from Nemesis, actually. She's going to die for it, but it's worth for a gold viewer. Oh, if we could kill Milan here, that's pretty huge, actually. Jingwei is absolutely shredding. Some Nice. Atlas? I can curse him. I want to wait for him to use his dash, though. Okay, he doesn't want to use his dash, apparently. <laughs> yeah, let's take this. That was a good fight for us. I'll tank this for a bit. I've got a tiny bit of physical defense online now with the Witchblade. Good stuff. Oh, I got a peel. Oh, no way. He went, like, underneath my ult. That's so unfortunate. He's level 20, dude. Jesus. Yeah, even when we get a good fight, they're just so fed that I don't think it matters. Ah, oh, nah, again. Like, we're level 16 and he's 20. The, the level diff and item diff is just so huge. Even though I think we played that fairly well. At least I got out alive, I suppose. Uh, next up, we have my Guardian Mail. Again, another actually, like, not terrible item against this comp. Oh, dear. This is not looking like a good fight. Now I've got picked super early. I'm just getting shredded, man. I have, like, no defense in this build. You fucking bitch. Why you bully me? Everyone asking. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be our end here. You know what? As a final tribute to the build, let's upgrade to Magi's Revenge right before the game ends. More last bowing from Mulan, of course. Has to be done. But yeah, GG's pretty unfortunate game there. I mean, it's Conquest. Like, if you get a build that's like this, especially in solo, it's just going to be really rough for the early game and stuff like that. But I feel like I didn't even play the laning phase that badly. We just kind of lost the team fights as a team in general. Like, Alquan got, got absolutely huge. Hebo was doing mega damage. Milan was just running around killing everyone. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. These trip to every game over the random build. They're pretty funny to record. And starting an assault is an interesting way of doing it. Obviously, I got one of my favorite gods this time. But sometimes I might get, like... Uh, something absolutely terrible. That's one special King Arthur build. It is indeed. Yeah, that, that's the idea. Special King Arthur. Uh, special in, in the way you're thinking. Uh, yeah, but let me know if you want to see more of these, and I'll catch you guys in another one later on. Have a great day, and peace out, you nerds. Know